Hey there, teacher. My name is Asia and I am also known as the Sassy Math Teacher. You have just joined us on the PowerPoint Tips and Tricks for Teachers series. So if this is the first video you've watched, I suggest that you go back and watch the first video first because you're gonna need what we created in that video in order to do this one. So what's in this video? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do something with your fonts. And we're going to be creating a handwriting worksheet. So this is perfect for primary teachers or maybe you're a parent and you want to create a handwriting worksheet for your kid. I think I'll actually print this out for my little babies, not my children, but my nephews and my niece. All right. So if you're ready to dive in, let's dive in. But don't forget, if you haven't watched the first video, pause this one, go watch that one and then return. All right, let's go. In our first video of our PowerPoint tips and tricks series, we learned how to create this pencil. So what I've done right now is I just pasted in the picture version that we created, not the original, okay? So what I wanna show you how to do today is just basically make a handwriting worksheet, say that you needed one. So that's how we're gonna use this pencil um, and we're gonna add a little bit more to our page as well. So, but first we want a nice little title for our page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify the way that this pencil looks a little bit. So what I'm gonna start by doing is making it a little smaller because it is gonna print. And then I'm gonna make this a little diagonal, you know, to print, like it's, like it's writing okay so now I'm gonna zoom in so I can see it nice and up close okay up oh, watch out now okay now I'm going to add in a text box okay and let's call this I can write my name okay I'm taking it back all right so choose a font that you love um I'm gonna go with one that you have on your computer already. So we can start with Century Gothic. And let's just make that bigger. And that's it, okay? Now we're gonna add in a couple of shapes. The first shape that we're gonna do, actually, hold up, let me drag this down a little bit so it actually prints on our page because that is in the border, okay. We're gonna add in a shape, and this shape is gonna be a rectangle. I'm just gonna drag it to pretty much fill the screen. And then give it no fill and a black border that's about two and a quarter thick. Then I'm gonna move my little logo over here. <laughs> All right, so now we have a border. Let's go ahead and sit in the middle. Oh, and if you don't know how to resize your page to be like, this format I do have some blog posts that you can check out to figure that out um, okay so the next thing we're gonna do is actually add the space for us to write our name right so let's go ahead and get a shape and use a line we're going to use a horizontal line so I'm just gonna hold down the shift key as I draw my line okay and we're gonna make that black and it's gonna be kind of thick all right, so then make sure it's like centered on the page. And then we're gonna duplicate that one and just drag it about mm, this far. And we're gonna duplicate it one more time to put one in the middle of those two lines. All right, what we're gonna do with this one though is we're gonna make it a dashed line. Um, like that, I think I actually want the middle to be a little thinner. Yeah, like that. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. And then we're going to select all three of them, right click and make them a group. That way we can just go ahead and duplicate that throughout our page. So boom, 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 boom. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just duplicating. So as you notice, if I do another one, it's not gonna fit on the page, so I'm just not gonna do that. And instead, I'm just gonna select all of them and just drag them down. You could also just space them out a little more, okay? So since we are writing a name, we 
may want to actually make this for each student so that each student has like a basis to use. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. In order to put a dotted name on here, we will need a dotted font. There are workarounds, um, but it's kind of difficult. Um, so the one that I'm going to be using today is KG Primary Dots, and you can find this on Teachers Pay Teachers. But in order to have the fonts activate, we have to actually have some text. So I'm just going to type my name. Then I'm going to make it big. And I'm going to look for my font, KG Prime. Mary Dots, okay? So as you can see, now we have a dotted line. I'm just gonna, a dotted name, and I'm gonna drag it over here. Let's see if we can get that a little better. There we go. So now it fits with the line at 96, okay? So there's some handwriting practice that you can do. The next thing I would do, if you are doing this for each student, you just duplicate this page and add in the next student's name. Now, I said this video was more about fonts, and so it still is. I'm going to do something with this I can write my name part because it's kind of boring. Um, so like I said, I want to use a font that you actually have access to. But one thing that I like to do is make like doodle style fonts. So I'm going to thicken this up a bit. And I'm also going to make it uh, where each word or no, I want it all uppercase. And then I just want the text to be an outline. So I'm going to do no fill and then make sure that it has a black border. You may want to thicken that border up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to make this bigger so students can actually do something fun. The other thing we can do with that is we can add a little, um, we can add a border around it. Or if you actually put, I mean, change the fill as white, then you can do a little shadow around it to just make it like it's popping off of the page. Another fun thing that you can do. So let's just zoom out. All right, so there's our handwriting page. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you missed the pencil video, make sure you go back to the first episode and then, um, the next episode will come out next week. All right. Bye.